In this video, we're going to walk through Eagle Eyes Pilot, the drone app for search and rescue. Eagle Eyes Pilot is an Android app that runs on DJI drone controllers. It allows you to load your team's CalTOPO map into the RC controller, live track the drone in CalTOPO, detect objects with the computer vision system on the RC controller, and upload your findings into CalTOPO so that the rest of the team can see them. Okay, we are out in the desert by Phoenix, Arizona, and uh, we have a test search going on here. So we've got a DJI M3T on the ground here, um, and a RC Pro Enterprise controller that you're looking at right here. On this other device, we have CalTOPO uh, with a defined search area. So the first thing we're going to do is load the CalTOPO map into Eagle Eyes Pilot. This will allow us to fly with reference to the map. So I'm going to click this little top right here, connect CalTOPO, and I'll get taken to log into my CalTOPO account here. You'll You'll need to be connected to do this. Um, Eagle Hills test. Double tap there. And that's our map, so I'm gonna use this map. Uh, we'll keep the default options here. You can change various things like the folder name, uh, whether you wanna live track the drone, but uh, we'll keep it on to the default for now, which will enable live tracking the drone. Uh, so what you'll see pretty soon is near our staging area in CalTOPO, you should see a live track popping up. Um, that'll happen. It usually takes about 10 seconds. And in the meantime, we're going to launch the drone. So I can tap on the map to go back and reference this map area here. Uh, so I'll be going back and forth through that. I'm just going to try manually flying a grid through here. Um, in future videos will show how to be a bit more systematic. You'll see that we have the option to switch between wide, thermal, zoom, and zoom thermal. Uh, because this is a pretty sunny day and thermal is nearly useless, I'm going to keep it on wide for most of it. Well, we've got color detection there, so let's double tap in there. And boom, there's our test subject. That's Fred. Um, so what I'm going to do is now mark that detection on the map so that uh, the ground team could go and find them. So we're going to... Uh, since we don't have the laser rangefinder on the M3T here, we're going to actually just fly vertically over, get a near view so the drone's lat long is pretty much the same as uh, the subject. I'm going to zoom in again to get a clear shot here. And then I'm just going to tap this camera and capture. We can try capturing both uh, wide and thermal just for perspective. Capture. What that's going to do is make the drone actually capture those images and drop them into CalTOPO. So what you should see here in CalTOPO pretty soon is the images popping up into the map. That way the team on the ground, I'll click save here. After I save, the team on the ground should be able to see those images, see the context around them, and go and uh, get the subject. And here we have our images here. So if you're on the ground, you could take a look at these images. And uh, you'll get the wide angle here and the thermal. So that was an overview of the basic features of Eagle Eyes Pilot. We have a lot more coming in the works, including working with thermal data, ensuring coverage of search areas, and getting real-time data off the RC controller to where it can be acted upon. 
For updates on all that, be sure to subscribe. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to info at eagleeyesearch.com.